Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where today we're going to drop off the two missions that we just got uh, like little side mission quest stuff for Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? Uh, by thinking non... what is the word? We need a non... Oh, shoot, really? Okay. Uh, was it non-traditionally, except, and that's what I thought, the freaking whatever weapon that we're building, I thought it was going to be something like, oh, it's something weird that you can't even think of off the top of your head, but no, it's just a big, just a big gun. Just a big old gun. Oh. Oh, I know. Okay, I know what this is. All right. Well, I had I had an order for things to be done, and then uh, friends friendship takes priority, though. Ooh. Ooh. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? Not this music. It makes me sad every time. I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I get my own entry. Oh no. It's the false version of me. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Isn't this wild though? I mean, I, this is something I would think, I think about it now sometimes when I look at the state of the world. I'm like, will anything I make, I don't know, get really existential, but like, will anything of me survive any sort of catastrophe that happens or will I be like those those notes or something that you maybe find in in a horizon or in fallout of people who came before like you have fragments of, of a people of a civilization and the Protheans tried to leave their uh, like evidence of their civilization behind in those um, essentially what were like message beacons and the beacons um, but it was corrupted and we couldn't, we couldn't, like, our biology just wasn't the same as theirs. Like, we just could not understand it, how they processed it. So you have that problem with this, too. You know, whoever comes next could process things completely differently. But you gotta try, right? Like, it's a very innate human thing to do. Like, we have rock art that's, like, 10,000 years old or more, you know? And it's people trying to leave a memory of themselves, of what they thought, of what they felt, what they believed... You know, and maybe was, some of it's just graffiti, you know, some of it's just like the Pompeii, you know, stuff like we're like some of the oldest stuff, like, like writing they found in Pompeii is just like graffiti saying, you know, Tim was here or whatever. But like that's that in and of itself is just a very innate human thing. You just want to leave a mark. You want to leave a mark before you're gone. You know, life is fleeting. You want to leave something behind, some sort of legacy, even if it's just a scratch on a wall, you know. Anyway. Let me get all poetic. Two thousand years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. <laughs> I, know what I would trust Lee already do that. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like yeah. the tool on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, command? As an archaeologist, too, like, I don't know, like, I really under, like, you know, you get, Liara has the perspective of, like, how things last in the record, how they're potentially perceived, and, like, being able to think at least a little outside the box, of outside her own... I mean, her bias has gotten away with the Protheans, right? But that's natural, but she has at least experience in trying to see things from a different perspective 
not just her own and recognizing her biases and we have the experience with the Prothean beacons you know vigil we have vigil who was um the power source was dying on vigil but it was just enough to give us a little bit of information and so learning from all of that from her experience as an archaeologist like knowing how things potentially can be recovered how they can be preserved you know and I would do, like, I don't know, I think it's a good idea. Like, it's not hopeless to, like, try to create a record. I think it's a good backup plan. It's kind of like how Apollo was supposed to be in Horizon. It was Apollo was supposed to be, like, the VI, or I guess whatever you want to call it. The program was supposed to be, like, the, the amalgamation of all human knowledge, culture, all that stuff, you know? And it was supposed to teach whoever came next, you know? So I find myself very attached and like melancholic when it comes to these sorts of things. And like, uh, like I really like the idea. I think anybody would, but I don't know, especially as like an archeologist, the idea of like uncovering something that would give you these hints to like all these cultures and peoples and things is just like, it's like a treasure trove, you know? It's like a knowledge treasure trove and it just makes me giddy, but it also makes me melancholic that such a thing would have to potentially be possible, you know? Put down the truth, good. Bad. Don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. <laughs> you writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a you can you can put some fluff in there. I'm okay with that. <laughs> some uh, if you make it too dry, no one's gonna want to read it. <laughs> You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You're the one who found my body. You made up for it. You found my body. You don't owe me anything. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. I do love this little scene. Mayara's not my favorite character. She's supposed to be. But, uh, because she's, you know, she's an archaeologist, and that's pretty cool. And she's also supposed to be your very good friend. But I also, I definitely feel more camaraderie with Garrus, and because, I don't know, with Liara, they're like, they're like forcing it on you. I think they really, really expect you to be romancing her, essentially, you know? Um, so they very much push the Liara thing, and I'm like, I'm good. Thanks. Something about her voice is just very bland to me. I feel like her personality and her voice are quite bland. Um, Citadel... I'm just gonna drop these off really quick. Yeah, I'm sorry. I like totally. I realize it probably messes up the flow of the game to have me like interrupt every sentence. Like, when, and whenever there's a pause and I have to pick an option, and then I just like soliloquize for like two minutes. Um, but uh, if you're still here, <laughs> freaking, I guess that's what you're here for. Um, do I want? Doc forty two. It doesn't really matter. Alliance Docs or Doc 42 doesn't really... Wait, no! Frick! <laughs> it does matter! I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Okay, so... <laughs> I just had to go through, because I'm really bad at saving, I had to redo the entire Benning mission and the conversation with Liara. Uh, it went faster-ish, but it's the Benning mission still took, like, I don't know, ten minutes more? I don't know. Anyway... That was my bad. The reason I got confused is because they're on the Alliance docks. I'm pretty sure the dock where the Normandy is is dock 42. So I was like, I guess I can go there. And then I realized as I clicked it, I was like, wait, it's a DLC. It's the, it's, a, it's for the Omega DLC. Um, so it's not really that big a deal to have that conversation right then and there. Because uh, it doesn't really change anything. You just you get some info from um, we call it Arya. And then you can, like, start the assault or whatever. Um, but I just, I like to do it all in an orderly manner. Like, I like to do it all, like, in one go. Not only does it make it easier for me, like, just, like, mentally, I prefer that. It feels more, like, orderly. But I also, for videos, like, I want to, I don't want to have, like, bits and pieces of DLCs spread out, you know? Anyway. We want to go to the Alliance docks. I did pick up the dock, tags again. Do you need ground transport? This will be fast, so we're gonna go. I need to get to the embassies. Yes, we're gonna go to the embassy, drop off the evidence, the Benning evidence for the father. Yes, I have. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benning. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I uh, see. 
Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. I didn't see a body. I'm still surprised they say that because I was like, eh? Um... What else did I have? I had... The banner. So we gotta go to... The purgatory... Purgatory. Um... But yeah, no, it's good to give closure on that. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Much longer. I hear you. The white people in there keep acting like nothing's going on. No, that's just they're coping with the war. It's the bottom of you that are getting me. Excuse me. Profiteering on the lives the war is destroying. It's sick. It's just business as usual as far as they're concerned. For some, it's even more business than usual. I hate them for getting away with this. And we just sit here doing nothing while people on Palavin are dying. We could leave, quit CSEC, go to Palavin to help with the war effort, find your family. You, the spirits, you do that? We're partners, aren't we? Of course I would. Yeah, I don't blame them. I do think these guys being recalcitrant about it is a little weird. Like about the Benning thing. Yeah. I have like two different conversations going. First regiment is waiting for you at Bay D24. The banner of Commander Shepard. I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. Oh, sorry, somebody came into the room while I was doing that, but I didn't want to like stop what I, I didn't want to stop what was going on on the screen. So just edit out any talking, hopefully. Um uh, so I think we've done everything. We just came here super fast to drop those two off, and now we are going to do the Turian Platoon. Hopefully, we have the time for it. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. See, oh, it's 24, D24. That's it messed me up. I think 42, right? I think it's 42 is the one that Ari is, like, that she wanted to chat with me on, but my ship is on 24. They're going to call for boarding pretty soon. I should. I know. Listen. <gasps> no! No, that's right! No! It's supposed to be a safe haven from the war. I want you and the girls to go. What? You're in the military! Just, you should know better! I don't want to worry about you, okay? Okay. I'll see if I can get along. I'll send a message for Neri's birthday. I thought you were supposed to avoid sending messages. It's a stupid Duh! I think that ends badly, but I'm not 100%. I have a vague inkling that it ends poorly. And as per usual, we only get to see, like, little bits and pieces of it. So now we are going back to Chonka. This might be a long episode. Back. To Chonka. And extract the Turian survivors. Hopefully. Freaking... He doesn't, shouldn't start priority to jump up without my say so. Extract turning survivors. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yes, I think this is the squad I want. Good. I actually really like this claymore. I think we're good. Holy moly, look at all these points I have. Let's do... No. 
Yes. That. Mm -hmm. I guess I should get at least everything up, what, like two, two or three for everything. Um, slam. Increases damage and force of biotic detonation. And this one just, that does two things and this increases just one thing. I don't know, maybe I'm misreading that, but <laughs> that looks like the better option. Let's go, Tuchanka. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, ma'am. I think in this... Turian command, Whoa. what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, ma'am. The Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. I think I'm skinnier than, he did, I mean, than I'm supposed to be in this armor. I think it said that the armors have a more difficult time with the mesh. The other armor seemed all right. This one does seem to have the narrower waist. Edie, did you raise Lieutenant Victor? But it's cool armor. Yes. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. He's like, okay. <laughs> Immediately. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I oh wait, yeah, this is this isn't just like I mean this part of this is just Tuchanka being Tuchanka, but a lot of this is uh, new crash site stuff shenanigans. Oh look at that! I, I tried, I tried, but I was pressing sideways. Look at all these upgrades I don't the care about. mission on Tuchanka is especially our thoughts. thoughts. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Our mission. Oh, Javik, you're no fun. I brought you along for the dialogue. Silence. Enemies ahead. Yeah, well, listen, we don't really have, like, stealth tactics here. What is... Oh, let me... Why does it keep telling me I can't use shockwave on those? They don't have shields, they don't have nothing. Shockwave is designed for husks. Make sure I'm not missing. I'm pretty sure this is fairly linear, but... Better than those missions where I land in a town. And I'm like, running around in circles. Escape pod. Our first casualties. Mm. Survived the crash, but then a harvester took out the pod. Dragging the explosion. Or dragged out and eaten by husks. I mean, I think we would know if they were eaten. I think we would be able to tell. Continued, and none of us have SMGs. Okay, I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. You know, if only that actually mattered in this game. Can't aim, it's fine. I can just aim with my face. My sensitivity is up super high. I've been playing Overwatch for days, and I have a much lower sensitivity on that game. That's a little better. What? Oh my goodness gracious. Officers, come 
No, whatever you're about to do, don't do it. I actually don't know what you're doing right now. Am I supposed to be fighting you? Like... Oh, jeez. I guess this is a, uh, a pistol? Pistol thing? Am I supposed to be? I think I am supposed to be fighting you, but I freak if I can freaking tell what you want. There we go. Okay. It's like I can't even see a tell. Like I have no idea what's going on. Oh, geez. Oh, good. Those are friends? Friendlies. 